What's up guys, IFBB Pro, Seth Shaw here, and I want to discuss a little bit about types of dieting, meal frequency, um, if you're just trying to lose weight for your lifestyle or, or whatever you're trying to do, and the ways that I feel are best to go about it. There's a lot of different views and what other people want to do. Um, a lot of people will try to debate with me about science and if it fits your macros and how it doesn't matter as long as you hit your total goals for the day, which... Um, I don't believe are, are correct because what I've seen with myself, um, with other people, especially a lot of females, they try to do this and they end up looking not so great on stage if competition is what they're wanting to go after. Um, I've seen people bash uh, certain coaches for, you know, they, they win first place and they place really well in the first year they're competing. Then they switch to it if it fits your macros coach and they can't even crack the top five at the local show. Um, lined up in second to third callouts. Um, then they want to blame their first coach for dieting them hard and making them eat a certain type of way. But now they're more happy with eating their macro diets, um, but not looking as good, which going for competition doesn't make much sense to me. You know, when you try to get down to low body fat, you really have to suffer and you have to zone in on a select group of foods that work well with your body. Um, so let's talk about, you know, comp we'll talk about the competition side of things. I think there should be very little flexibility in your food choices. And as the weeks progress, as you're going down, I really think you need to hone in on just a few, few choices for your protein, carbs, and fats. I mean, me personally, when I, I don't really use tons of fats when I diet down, um, they basically all get removed. Um, you can say what you want and think it's not healthy or whatever, but I know my body and doesn't work well with high fats. I, I will hold on to my weight. I won't drop body fat. I'll, I'll put on more fat when I add fat back to my diet. I know that sounds weird, but that's, that's what worked for me in the past. Um, so I think that narrowing down food selection as you get closer to the show. So maybe you're 16 to 20 weeks out, you know, you're eating bagels, um, English muffins, rice, potatoes, whatever for your carb sources within, within your allotment for the day. And as time goes, you figure out what digests better, what doesn't bloat you, what certain vegetables bloat you, like broccoli for me. Um, if I eat broccoli, my stomach bloats up like crazy. I feel extremely full. My stomach hurts. I got gas. Whey protein does the same thing. Bloats my stomach. Sometimes it hurts my stomach. gives me tons of gas. So I know those things I really have to eliminate. Um, going into a show and even in my off season to help with the partitioning of all my food and everything. I can't be all bloated and gassy and shitting, you know, six to eight times a day. My digestion is all messed up. It's not, it's not going to be optimal to get in shape or grow. Um, so what would, what I want to talk about next is, so, so those are some of my personal experiences as well. Just narrowing down the food selection as you get closer to the show, you know, rice products work extremely well for everyone. Um, I do have one guy that I work with that I had him doing 300 grams of rice, so 103 different meals. I'm building his metabolism back up, and it kills his stomach. 100 grams of rice is like around a half a cup, which is like nothing, like 25 ish grams of carbs. So I switched him over to potatoes, and he has no issues. So, I mean, there's a thing right there you can't always eat what somebody else is telling you to eat so some sort of flexibility to figure out what you digest and process is going to be essential for your gains in your weight loss um meal frequency i've had people come to me before and saying hey i have to eat 68 meals a day and i can't do that with my lifestyle i got kids um, I work a job that's so many hours, blah, blah, blah. Well, one, I, that's for one, it's just excuses. I, I so many people try to tell me they, they blame your kids that they can't do anything, which I feel is, is so dumb. I know tons of IFBB pros that competed, you know, in pro shows, high level that have children. So to say that your kids are holding you back and I, Certain people are, that I know personally, they'll try to say, well, I can't do that. I got kids. I, I don't have time to work out for an hour a day. I got kids. Okay. Quit using your kids as an excuse. But you don't have to eat six to eight meals a day is what I'm trying to get at here. And for me, 
five meals a day, four to five meals a day for me is perfect for my schedule because I sleep, you know, seven or eight and then I'll fast for a little bit and then I'll start eating my meals. And usually when I work out at night, when I get home, I might have two meals after uh, when I get home and I don't want to sit there and slam all this food at nine and nine thirty at night before I try to go to bed because I just can't get it all in. So what I've noticed is, you know, make the meals bigger during the day and do four to five meals. And um, that seems to work a lot better for me and it might work a lot better for you. I mean, you could do three to four meals if you want, just make them bigger throughout the day. I wouldn't recommend, you know, fasting all day and trying to eat 250, 300 grams of protein and, you know, one to two meals before bed. But I think that if you were doing three meals a day and you space them out, you know, six out, six hours, five or six hours apart, you wake up in the morning, eat, you know, wait till a little bit after lunch, eat, and then eat right before you go to bed. I mean, that's fine as long as you're getting your calories um, in your totals for the day. So those are just some of the things I want to touch on that there, there's not mandatory rules that you have to eat, you know, six to eight meals a day. Do what's best for your lifestyle. If you want to do macros, don't compete. Um, do that as a lifestyle thing and fit those in accordingly to what's going on in your day and what your goals are. But if it's competition, I wouldn't recommend, you know, if it fits your macros, it only works for certain people with really good metabolisms because not everybody can process sugar like that. Um, and if you're competing, narrow down your food choices as you get closer to the show and find out what works best for you. So those are my thoughts on that. And I hope this was informative. If you guys have any questions and you want to do some diet and training, uh, I'll put my website below at sethshawfitness.com. Thanks.